Hello, my name is Spider C, and I will be running Isle of Armor Alt Main Dub Wall. I'm joined by Iron. Hello. And we're just going to jump right into it because we got a bit of an intro. Uh, time will start in three, two, one, go. So, you might be wondering what Isle of Armor Alt Main is, and it is a product of the madness that Iron and I had two years ago. <laughs> Where we spent, what, four months playing nothing but Swish DLC? Yeah, um, I don't really know, like, what sort of prompted us to start doing this. I know <laughs> what came of it is the whole, like, standard route for the Olive Armor, for both Getter Shifu and No Getter Shifu, yep. changed dramatically. But that came after we started doing all this. I'm not sure what prompted this initial, like... Well, so if I remember correctly, I picked up Don't Get Her Shifu, and that was pretty much my first PSR run. I did some any percent with DLC, but only a couple of those. Um, this was the f first one that I really grinded. Uh, and you actually invited me to do a race ma uh, marathon. Uh, and then oh. I was like, okay, we better start. I better start really digging into it then. And then I played a bunch of Don't Get, and I would have done a couple Gets as well. And, um, and I wanted to keep playing, but I didn't want to try to beat my PEVs, and so I decided I was going to do this instead. Uh, and this started a bit of a chain of events. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> basically, I wanted to keep playing through the Switch the DLC, and, um, I didn't want to use the normal route anymore, and I'm like, okay. What's something funny I can do instead? Turns out, double is a very funny thing you can do. Uh, and the downside is, double or Wulu doesn't evolve until level 24, which caused some problems that I needed to figure out how to get around. Uh, and that's... We'll be seeing what all of those were, uh, what everything that happened, but um, that's, that's really what kicked off all of the reroutes to get and don't get, as far as my recollection goes, is the fact that Wulu evolves to level 24. Yes, <laughs> very important. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, this is like the first like alt main for the Isle of Armor that we we routed, Spider specifically routed this, and we then did like, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, 15 yeah. other alt mains, and other people in the community like Gavin joined in as well. Um, there's sure there's others, I'm sorry I if I've forgotten you, but um, there's a lot of really interesting stuff that was done. And in fact, one of the alt mains that was sort of worked on, I think I started working on that, um, which was Starmie, actually ended up for a time holding the record in the category for like, don't mm -hmm. get overall. Um, it's it's a pretty risky route. Like you have to get really lucky to, to record with it, but it's very fast. Especially if you do the hell route. <laughs> yeah. It's certainly very consistent, assuming you can get the star. So we're going to do a little options menu here. Spider made it look extremely easy. I, I struggle with this menu. <laughs> the Let's Go 1 is so much better. The Let's Go 1 is just the first three inputs. And then the Swish one is just extended from there. Uh, but yeah, so we'll have to do a fair amount of normal plot stuff. Um before we can actually get to the DLCs. Um, but there's still a decent amount of consideration that we have to do for those DLC, uh, or in order to get to the DLC, um, including um, the route actually changes a fair bit on what Lulu I catch on Route 1, because uh, in all in all push games, really, except for, I think, Arca Drill. Uh, you catch a Wulu on Route 1. Um, I guess Calyrex doesn't either. Um, but the route that I'm using actually changes depending on what level my Wulu is. And quite significantly in some cases. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a fourth thing that can change the XP route later on. So, uh, <laughs> we'll talk about that when we get there. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that one later. But there's actually a, a number of different divergences that can happen with this route, which is one thing that's also interesting. Um, 
the first divergence from a normal get don't get run uh, is the fact that we will not be picking Sobble because as it turns out there is uh, another starter that gets through the early game faster than Sobble on average um, while also having some extra tools that are handy to have later on. Yep. Standard walking section for now. Yes, this is the point in the if it was a marathon with donations, we would be yeah, exactly demanding donations. <laughs> yeah, please read. give us donations. It's <laughs> like we we did a decent amount of intro, but we still have a decent amount of intro to go. So, <laughs> but yeah, this is Leon. He's the champion. We're not going to see him again after this. Well, we'll see him we'll a little bit him. for the yeah, for the a little bit more. Run. Yeah, but he doesn't figure too figure very much into this into this run. So one thing to note here is that, uh, just as an aside, my Switch has issues, as I've come to find out, uh, including <laughs> when I have timed this exact cutscene, which obviously has no inputs. Uh, I've timed this cutscene in my runs against other people's runs, and I lose a full second here. Uh, and so I have a new Switch arriving tomorrow. <laughs> I finally said, screw it, I'm <laughs> buying a new one. Let's go. So I will get all sorts of random time save. But you didn't you didn't wait for the Switch 2? No, I was if if we knew when the Switch 2 was coming out, then I would have waited. But like if it's a fall next year release, then I'm not going to sit here with this crappy Switch for another year. So I'm picking Grookey, everyone's favorite little grass monkey because Zarud is weird. Um yeah, grass starter. <laughs> uh, so Grookey has a couple tools that are really nice. Um, branch poke is a solid move, um, and it allows the fact that it's a physical move actually helps us on Route 2 a decent bit um, because uh, Sobble loses two turns on Benjamin because of its special attack getting dropped. Um, so just that by itself means Grookey is really nice. Um, but another reason why Grookey is good, uh, for this route in particular, is that, um, the Wula that we want to catch would, uh, we, we need it to have Fluffy. Um, and so with Branch Poke, we can easily scout for Fluffy. Uh, I can just Branch Poke a Wulu that spawns, and then depending how much damage it takes, I know if it's, if it's Fluffy or not. So Fluffy uh, is, it. it boosts defense, I guess? Yeah, so it actually doubles your defense, but you be you get a fire weakness. Oh, okay. So it's actually a really cool ability. Um, but yeah, so I, I need a fluffy one for one fight in particular. Um, and so just being able to scout for it without having to actually catch the Pokemon is really nice. Um, and then the final thing that's really nice about Grookey is it learns Taunt, uh, which um, primarily is good for Death Warps, and we will be doing a couple Death Warps. Um, so it is nice to have that as well. Um, the other the thing that's kind of good about Grookey is its stat requirements are pretty lax. Um, almost all Grookeys are runnable. Uh, I can tell from just this first roll that this one is. Uh, so, it's good to go. I got my IV tracker ready to go here. <laughs> just to kind of get a gauge on the, on the stats. Yeah, attack is really the only thing that matters at all. Uh, 12 to 14 is very good. My notes say ideally 13 at 6 and 15 at 7, so I'm guaranteed to have that. Um, honestly, the only spot where Grookey's attack really matters is uh, Jake Squovit and Benjamin's Nick or er, Benjamin's Lip Bug, I guess. Um, otherwise, it, it just does not matter. Um, as you can see, I am slower than the Sobble, so that's a little unfortunate, but it doesn't matter all that much. Yeah, there's that 15.
Um, so now it's time for Slumbering Wild, which serves no purpose purpose in this category. Um <laughs> one time you see you get three required encounters in here. Uh one time I accidentally just mashed through and KO'd one of them, and then it ended up mattering because I needed the XP. But oh, I in, that. <laughs> in in all other cases. There is nothing interesting that can happen in this forest except for losing like a second and a half to RNG. Yeah, there's really like sort of one place you can save time here and it's completely random. It's on the on the, on the ability of one of the Pokémon we're going to see. So this, it's always a level 2 Squovit, 2 Rickety, and then 3 Squovit. Um, if we had Pokeballs here, there actually would be some categories um, that would possibly catch the level 3 Squovit. Um, but as is, we don't have Pokeballs, so just can't do anything. Yes, I'm nerf skip, under, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what's, what its other ability is, but I know when it evolves into Corviknight, I think both abil abilities trigger text boxes. Yeah, I believe that's right. Pressure and... Yeah, it gets pressure. Uh, but now we just get to mash A for a bit. And then after that, we will finally catch Wooloo. Woo. And I'm hoping for a level 3 Wooloo, because that means I get to take do the funny strats. <laughs> um, I did mention, in terms of requirements for Wooloo, um, like I mentioned, um, I need Fluffy. But beyond that, I can take anything as long as it's not minus attack. And even minus attack is fine in most cases. It's just not worth taking. And it's never worth it to just hold out for the mint, right? Um, I'm trying to think of where the pain points are. You'd probably lose turns on mustard, and then the real issue is you wouldn't. Well, I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think of where the ranges were, because maybe it would be fine just holding out for the mint. Um, because you're ev you're evoed by the uh, fast slope. You're always evoed by the fast slope poke, so not having the mint shouldn't be that big of a concern there. I feel like I considered that, but I don't remember why I didn't go for it. Yeah, the, um, yeah. I know for, um, I think Head Bob, when Head Bob got record in Getter Shifu, he got the mint, but for Sobble, which was funny. Yeah, yep. <laughs> but, uh, so sword really nice, versus really shield. Nice yeah, sword versus shield for this one. Um, I mean, it's, I'm running because I have short, that's the one I own. Um, I don't. I don't see any reason why you couldn't do this route on shield. Yeah, I've never done this um, <clears throat> this alt main, but um, some of the alt mains work a bit better with shield than sword. Yeah. Oops. Uh, uh, for like example, any grass type, you for example, cannot Grookey. do. <laughs> grass types cannot do yeah. sword. <laughs> Grookey is actually really good. Um, the starters are all generally pretty solid alt mains. Uh, and Grookey's not bad either, but you can't really, again, you can't really do it on Sword because there's a lot of poison types versus Psychics. Alright, and it's Wooloo time. 
Uh, yesterday I was setting up a backup file, which I hope I don't need to use, because just fine. Uh, but it... <laughs> Weird looking okay. Uzu. Run and right Wulu's into not that slow bit. And Wulu's not guaranteed to show up on this route too, so what's your strategy when if that happens? Which, there is uh, I just run back and forth. Okay. Because the, the spawns actually come back pretty quick. Or like the despawn range. Oh, yes. let's go. Please be fluffy. It's fluffy! Yes! <laughs> let's go. Alright, now as long as it's not minus attack, we get to have fun. <laughs> Well, we still could take the minus attack in theory and do the mint, but... That's true. Actually, yeah, it would be, with level 3 strats, having level... Th having minus attack is less punishing. Hey, look, another one. We're on a catch, Shane. <laughs> it's <laughs> minus attack! <laughs> Alright, we'll take it. We'll it's take it. <laughs> I love myself a modest Wulu. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be using any special attacks, I don't think, right? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Alright, level 3 Wulu gets, means we do some funny things. Um, it's it's definitely the, the weirdest of the four uh, routes that I mentioned. Um, and you'll see why. <laughs> looking forward to this i've i've I think i've watched a bit of a run like a while ago but i haven't seen much since so yeah this this route has had all significant uh reroutes over the years or not over the years i guess um in that uh part part of that comes down to we hadn't established the isle of armor alt main rules yet when i was first doing this and so, the rule set that I was originally using was, after you catch the Wulu, you have to get, use it in every fight. Um, which leads to some very weird decision making, um, <laughs> such as using payback on Hop 2. Uh, because that is your best way through the fight. Um, and then beating up a high-level Haunter in the wild area, which is also extremely weird. Uh, but because we don't need to get all of our XP on Wulu, um, we get to do other fun things, such as this EXP route. Haunter, I guess, like, it wouldn't be able to hit you, so... Yeah, yeah, so the Haunter is really funny because it knows Curse, Nightshade, or Hex... Um, and I don't remember its last move, but basically the strat was just to use copycat on Wulu until it cursed you and then you switched to payback, if I remember correctly. I don't remember exactly what I did. It was, it was really funny and really dumb and really slow. <laughs> All right. And, as I said, we don't need XP on our Wulu, so we're just going to deposit it. So even getting the experience on these from these fights doesn't help then, I guess? Uh, it does if I was doing... If I had any other Wulu, I would actually keep it in my oh. party here. Interesting. Um, yeah, so... We'll get to why this one is, why this EXP route is weird in a second, but... So the other one is 4 and 5 do the same thing, and then 6 does something a little bit different. Um, the difference there is level 6, um, because it comes at a higher level, you actually don't need the EXP from the slowpoke catch. Um, and so you get to save a menu. Uh, we're on a level 4 or 5 Wulu, you have to withdraw it before the slowpoke catch because you you deposit it anyway for death warp purposes, um, but um, yeah. So that that's the difference between the the four five and then the the six 
Um, it just saves the menu. That's all it comes down to. Um, with a level 5 or 6 Wulu catch, um, this Squovit can be a 2-shot. Um, but since I'm still level 7, it's always going to be a 3-shot. Um, which does mean that if I get double tackled... Actually, my defense looks good, so... I was going to say, if my if I get double tackled, then I might need to heal after this fight. Um, because Benjamin, unlike in Sobble runs, uh, Benjamin can and will kill you. Yeah. I have definitely died to him before. But yeah, my notes say heal if below 12, 16 if being very safe. So we're definitely fine. No Zigzagoons, good love to see it. <laughs> yeah, you love to see that. Uh, but yeah, so the reason why um, Benjamin is scary if you're using Grookey instead of Sobble is because uh, it uses a Struggle Bug, which does a decent chunk of damage depending on your stats. Um, and that this honestly is the main reason for the stat requirement on Grookey that I mentioned. Uh, that needs to be a two-shot. Um, but unlike Sobble, uh, we don't care about our special attack. So instead of taking a four turn on this Nicket, it's just a two-shot for us. This fight's like the main reason why. Well, I guess you could also have potentially a faster hop or two as well. But like, this is a fight that's definitely one of the reasons why Grookey's a bit faster than Sobble. Yeah, it has a. It's. Jake's two shot is slightly more likely than Sobble's is. Um, and then, yeah, you're slightly more likely to save a turn on Hop as well. Uh, but yeah, more <laughs> needless plots. <laughs> Um, but after this cutscene, before we get into the hop split, I will do something that... Or the hop fight. I'm gonna do something that I'm sure most people are not aware of exists. Uh, because there is an item that we need for a later fight uh, that is conveniently hidden. Although the, uh, the oh. camera angles as you go to get it are a massive pain in the butt. <laughs> Yeah, so this payback TM is hidden back here. Uh, and like I said, in my initial route, uh, I actually had Wulu spam payback to get through the hot fight. Oh, some Tams get that. That's funny. Uh, that makes sense, actually. All right, now it is time for hop. Um, goes. It's pretty much guaranteed to be a six turn normally. Uh, you just two shot everything, unless you get really lucky on ranges. Uh, but we're gonna do something a little bit different. How's it going? <laughs> we're just gonna be sitting here for a little bit. I was wondering if this was going to happen. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, so the one downside here is that I'm level nine. Uh, I, for ideally for an ideal hop skip, um, you're level eight. Uh, if you catch something low level on Route 1, you could be level 8 here. Uh, or if you catch something other than a Wulu, you can be level 8. Um, which, obviously, I got the minimum amount of XP, so that's not available here, but it's still fine. 
Uh, for reference, I am currently 46 seconds ahead of PvP. Uh, <laughs> that's that's what hop skip will do for you. Um, you just we're gonna have to do some stuff to not worry about that time loss that we just took. Um, but uh, it's it just saves so much time if uh, if you're able to do it. Yeah, this is done in, I believe it's done in the Get to Calyrex run as well. Uh, no run on the it's leaderboard not. does it. Let me put it that Optimal in Calyrex. Um, but, uh, I don't think anyone has a submitted run that does it. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, in that category, it's, it saves a full minute. Um, because not only do you save the time that I just saved, um, you don't even need to pick up the rare candy, which I did need to get because I need it for... As it turns out, I actually need it for Wooloo. Uh, and that's where this actually comes out into play and is quite good, is um, on a normal EXP route... Um, you need to be level 12 for the slowpoke catch. Um, and so what you end up doing is, at this point, Grookey is now level 10. Um, you would then defeat the static Choodle on the route. That gets you to level 11. You rare candy Grookey, it's level 12. Um, we're not going to get Grookey to 12 at all. Uh, so we actually can save that rare candy for Wooloo, um, which helps matter significantly, uh, which is... Um, why I said that with this EXP route, the um, minus attack actually doesn't hurt as badly. Uh, let's see. Yep, okay. Yeah, so at this point, in a normal EXP route, like I said, I would uh, run back here... I would defeat the Static Choodle that I'm going to walk past in a second. Um, it's almost always a um, one-shot, which is another reason why in a lot of categories where you want to get to the Isle of Armor, that Grookey is better than Sobble, um, because Grookey can just one-shot the Static Choodle for EXP, um, as opposed to, dang it, as opposed to Sobble, um, who needs to catch it. And it's not a guaranteed catch, too, so... Yeah, yep. Yeah, it's not a guaranteed one-shot, but even still, um, yeah. it's definitely less punishing. Um, dude, what else? Okay, so I mentioned that we need Grookey to be level 12. I didn't explain why. Uh, and that is because of a very dumb mechanic that only this game and BDSP have, uh, which is the Switch Catch formula. Uh, where basically, if you have not beaten the game yet, and your Pokemon is a lower level than what you're trying to catch, um, then the catch rate is massively decreased. For reference, uh, normally with a level 12 Grookey, if you're catching Slowpoke, you're trying to catch the level 12 Slowpoke at full HP, it's a 55% catch. If you are underleveled, it is a 9% catch. We're not going to be doing the 9% catch. We're going to improve, be improving that slightly with something else. Um, but it still is not going to be great. Uh, but the time that we saved by not doing hop makes up for it. Generally speaking. <laughs> uh, so once we get through a couple more cutscenes... Uh, I'll be doing my first Death Warp, uh, where, like I said, where Taunt is also nice. Um, in a normal run, um, since we do need to Death Warp a couple times, uh, this is where I would deposit Wulu instead of doing it at the center. Uh, and this is the last time we'll ever see Hop, so we can say goodbye to him. <laughs> we will be seeing, unlike most Isle of Armor runs, 
we will be seeing more of Sonya, because we actually do need to go to Moto Stoke, unfortunately. Okay. That was uh, one of the big things that really um, happened to save time in our reroutes of um, the categories, is when we stopped needing to go to Moto Stoke because of some of the stuff that we're going to do later on. But unfortunately, um, even with those things, Wulu needs a little help just because, I mean, let's be real, it is a Wulu, so. <laughs> uh, and this Onyx is very familiar to many people, uh, but we're going to intentionally die to it, so it's good. <laughs> And it never, it never goes for the kill when I'm doing, when I'm trying to death warp on this thing, it never tries to kill me. It drives me insane because I've died this thing so many times. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I survived the dragon breath because of course I did. I've lost, I before the reroutes I lost many runs to this onyx because you actually oh, yeah. had to beat it and yeah. Yeah, it was like, well because I mean it knows four moves. Two of them are damaging, and one of them will one-shot you if it hits. So it's... It's just bad news. Uh, so like I said, we do need to go to Motostoke, which unfortunately adds some more cutscene time. Um, but it is worth it at the end of the day, especially because it does allow us to um, buy a special type of Pokeball that will help with our Slowpoke catch. Uh, and this route, or this, uh, I don't know, purchase, I guess, um, is courtesy of Zypotic, who um, pointed out in the old route, hey, why are we buying quick balls when we could just be buying nest balls instead? Um, and then oh, yeah. a week later, we stopped doing that. <laughs> so, so for a full week, Zypotic participated in the route, uh, and then we took it out. Uh, so normally, I would just buy uh, a single nest ball, but I'm going to get 11 of them because uh, I might have to throw multiples. Um, if you are level 12 for the slow poke catch, uh, it is a guaranteed 100% in the nest ball. Um, because I am underleveled, um, it is a 20%, or I think it's 21% catch, which... Not the worst, but certainly not great by any means. So I probably will save for the slowpoke catch just for the heck of it, but um, it's, it's it's not the end of the world uh, if it breaks out a couple times. Uh, so we're still not going to go back to story progression. Uh, there is one other pit stop that we're going to have to make first. Uh, and if you are familiar with the Candy Floss runs, uh, we're going in a very similar direction. I guess Candy Floss or Arcadrill also. I remember this. Oh yeah, because you also did uh, Arcanine for all of our role mate. It... Yeah, but also like we for I did Candy Floss for. Oh sure. Yeah. Yeah. But so yeah. that item right ahead of me is the Firestone. So, anytime you're using a Nine Tails or an Arcanine, you're making the same walk. Uh, but I'm going to extend it slightly to pick up one other item. The excellent facade move. Uh, and I need something to do. Scroopy is good. Uh, this basically always one shots you, or it'll just go for toxic spikes and prove me wrong. So taunt is uh still useful. <laughs> Uh, but it has two different moves that can both one-shot you, so it's a pretty good death warp even if you didn't have taunt. Uh, 
All right, so now we are finally ready to go to the Isle of Armor. Sort of. Uh, <laughs> I realized as I was saying that it's still not accurate. Uh, we're finally ready to go to the station. Let me put it that way. We're ready to go to the DLC. Yes. Um, and so, like I said, in a EXP route where you get a level 4 or 5 Wulu, uh, you would withdraw it here because it needs the EXP for the slowpoke catch. And then but I'm just going to save for safety. Uh, just in case the uh, catch does go poorly. Nice. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Excellent 21% catch. Uh, and so now, because that went in first ball, I have saved significant time over the other EXP routes. And now we can finally go to the DLC, but we will not be going to the DLC you think we're going to. We're going to the Crown Tundra. <laughs> uh, and so this was the thing that really kicked it off, um, the reroutes, um, because... Like I said, Wulu evolves at level 24, it needs a lot of AXP, and so I was trying to find places to get lots of EXP. And it turns out the Crown Tundra is the best place to get a lot of EXP. Um, here we're finally going to get rid of our Grookey. Um, we need to menu here anyway because we're going to lose a fight. Um, so at this point it makes sense to... We need to deposit Slowpoke at the very least. So at this point it makes sense to just get uh, Wulu in the party. What did I just do? Okay, cool. That's not how that menu is supposed to go. Uh, so here's the Crown Tundra. Um, we're not supposed to be here. Uh, unlike the Isle of Armor, which is sort of not really scaled, uh, basically it has two EXP things, or it has two checks whether you've beaten the game or not. Or actually, I think it's whether you've fought Eternatus. I don't think it's actually beaten the game. Um, but if you haven't, then the Pokemon start at like level 12. If you have, they start at level 60, I think. Um, in the Crown Tundra, everything is always 60 to 70. Um, and so it's not really expected that we're here <laughs> right now. Um, but they let us lose this required fight. Uh, so it all works out in the end. Um, if you could not lose this fight, then there's like five categories that couldn't exist. <laughs> uh, this this uh, this alt main certainly wouldn't work, and then the Isle of Armor runs in general would be miserable. And you wouldn't get Calyrex. Any percent what DLC would be gone. Oh yeah, that's um, true. Yeah, it's... Just being able to lose this fight opens up the world to so much stuff. Uh, so, I mentioned that we're getting EXP here. I haven't mentioned how that is. Uh, we're going to be picking up a few items. Um, optimally, we only pick up three items, but it's <laughs> likely going to be more than that. Um, this first one is this full restore, uh, just obviously it's a good jinx. item. It's and jinx. the jinx. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and then this is always a 100% guaranteed EXP Candy M. Uh, that will give us a flat 3,000 EXP, which is quite nice. Um, before we leave, we also need a EXP Candy L, um, which is 10,000 EXP. Um, but even those two together, that's only going to get our Wulu to level 23. Um, so normally what you would do on a normal EXP route is you get to 23, you do a couple fights in Alv Armor, and then evolve. Okay, Awakening. Um, in here, since we didn't use our rare candy on Grookey, we can just rare candy um, Wulu and evolve immediately. Um, and so those first two item spots that I checked have a 10% span... 10% chance of being a Dynite Ore. Uh, you can exchange the Dynite Ore for a L candy. Uh, we didn't get those, so now we're walking to the next location. Um, and this is where we might get the forbidden <laughs> fourth EXP route, uh, depending on what the shows XL up candy. here. The XL candy, which is worth 30,000 EXP. Another M. Okay. So because we got an M, uh, unfortunately, we have to make a bit of a detour. Um, as I said, the L candy is required, uh, so we're going to have to do a bit of a walk to get to a guaranteed L candy. Um, in a normal run, this would just be a reset at this point, but um, we do have a, or I do have a marathon safe strat. Uh, it just loses 2 minutes 40 seconds, uh, which is included in the estimate, so unfortunately we didn't get a bunch of time back there, but... Uh, the run can continue. Um, once again, as Iron said earlier, this would be a great time for donations. <laughs> but, but alas, we have to keep talking. You can get there's there's a lot of nature mints in the. That is true. I could well. grab a nature mint. There's one right up here. I will grab it and see what it is. Surely it's better um, than modest. Yeah, it's, I think it's this one. Nope, that's a tiny okay. mushroom. Actually, it, that might have been it because I think the. Nature Mints can also be a tiny mushroom. Um, this is the other spot I think it might be. Jar of Honey. So yeah, it wasn't either of those. Um, I do know that there is one along the way, and I'm pretty sure it was that first spot. Uh, whoops, my angle's wrong. Yes, this is a great time to run an ad. <laughs> Uh, this is very similar to a walk that you do in the Get to Calyrex run. Um, you walk... We're walking about half as far <laughs> as we do for Calyrex, so that one is a bit of a trek. Um, the one thing that's kind of funny about that, though, is right at the end of that run, you walk through the Path to the Peak area, um, which actually has seven hidden items, and all of them have, I think, a 30% chance of being an L candy. Uh, so if, if you do take the trek up there, you can get a whole lot of EXP. Um, oh, I should save one more time real quick. Um, normally this is fine, but we have to walk through a semi-narrow gap. Uh, and I have had a Pokemon block me there before. And uh, then you need to do the whole walk again, because you get sent all the way back to the station. So that's... Uh, not great, but we got through there just fine, so. Uh, and then finally, here is our L candy. So we just need a death warp one more time, and then we can finally uh, get our Wooloo evolved. Uh, unfortunately, the Metagross will not always go for kills, and it's hailing, which just makes this extra slow. Um, but eventually it will kill us. There we go. Yeah, you could keep Grookey in for the party, or for in the party for this, um, just to make the Death Warp more consistent. But in this case, it wouldn't have saved a turn, and it would have added a menu. I guess it wouldn't have added a menu, because I'm menuing now. 
That is actually interesting. Uh, I don't need to go to the box because... Let's do it this way. Uh, we don't need any of these level up moves. Um, you'll notice that I... Oops. I don't actually need the second M, but I'll use it anyway. You'll notice that I did not um, learn Headbutt, even though it has the same uh, BP as fa Facade. Uh, that's a hint for later. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm also throwing this extra M candy into it, um, so we're actually going to be 26 instead of the normal 25 that we would be here. Um, so even with Modest, I'm not terribly concerned. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and learn the uh, two TMs that we picked up. So you said there's some weird, crazy strats with level 3, Wulu. Are we kind of seeing those already? or? Yeah, so this was the extent of it. Um, basically, the, the level 3 strats allow you to... You do hop skip because you don't have too much EXP where it takes too long to die to hop. Um, and then because I saved the rare candy instead of using it on uh, Grookey, then I'm evolving earlier. Um, in this case, I got the M candy, so I evolved earlier anyway. Um, but normally, after the L and the M, you're 23, and then 24 gets you to double. Oh, so you'd be doing this next fight. Yeah, so you... With the, normal, with the other two EXP routes, um, you would do this fight and the next one as Wulu, and then you would evolve after Mustard 1. Ah, okay. Um, and so this is the other spot where you save time. Um, because you should get one-shots on Clara's Pokemon. Um, and then that saves text. Um, as opposed to if you do it with Wulu, um, I don't think you ever really one-shot the Slowpoke. Actually, you would you normally X attack here if you're still Wulu, um, and then even then it's not the best odds to get the one shot on. Or sorry, you X attack if you are still Wulu, uh, and then even then you it's not the best odds to one shot the Slowpoke. Um, here, I'm actually not sure. My notes don't have this range. Um, <laughs> modest level twenty six. Who would have guessed that I don't have that range? <laughs> Um, but I'm just gonna go for it, because I'm pretty sure I'll still one-shot the Venipede, uh, and then if I get Poison Point, um, to proc, then I'm fairly confident I'll get the Slowpoke one-shot, and there's the Poison Point, so. Uh, now it's the exact same as if I had used the X attack here. And the reason for that, if it's not clear, is the secondary effect of um, Facade, which, if I have a status condition, the power is doubled. So that was a 140 base power uh, move against that Slowpoke before Stab. Now all you need is, like, the Flame Orb or something. <laughs> Not the Flame Orb, but, like, on one of the other orbs. Could do that. Uh, you, I actually considered crafting the flame orb in the yeah, chromatic. Yeah, the chromatic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't do that, but Aww. I I definitely considered it. Um, the real issue is that the chromatic is like a decent high value fire one, um, and um, the ingredients are like difficult to get. Yeah. Um, basically, your only option there is the charcoal, which actually you can get a charcoal in Freezington. I discovered recently, um, but even still, it's it's not great to go that route. You could just you just start with Square Bunny and get get one in Moto. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> uh, let's not talk about Score Bunny early game. That is <laughs> better. It's, it's, it's terrible. Better left unsaid. <laughs> it is what we do for uh, Candy Floss, though. Yeah. Because of the charcoal. It's yep. a nice item to have for Nine Tails and Arcanine. So I was actually thinking about this the other day, and as a complete troll strat, uh, you could technically start Grookey in Candy Floss, and then just catch a Growlithe or Vulpix already holding a charcoal with 5%. Um, and then there, you also get a Miracle Seed from Leon instead, so you don't even need to buy the Rose Incense. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> That's the YOLO candy floss strat? Yeah. Would Salve will be a problem? You just... Oh, I guess Rival 3, it's a problem. Yeah, that's true. Although you have extra sensory at that point. It can't be that bad. But for future rival fights, you have Candy Floss, so that doesn't matter. Wait, when's Rival 4? Oh, Rival 4 is also there. Dang. I forgot. Why are there so many hop fights so early? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I take it back. The idea sucks. I hate it here. <laughs> yeah, I guess it wouldn't really be an option for uh, Shield, because Shield would have Arcanine. Although, I don't know, maybe. You had some, some really good moves with Arcanine. I'm sure you could, uh, I mean, Drizzile doesn't have very good defense, so you could just X-Attack Extreme Speed, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I forgot about Extreme Speed. Look at that, Iron and I are cooking up new stuff as we go. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is a preview of what our DMs looked like two years ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Going back to our roots here. <laughs> You're making me really want to come back to this game now. <laughs> yes. Uh, so here I'm going to go ahead and X attack. It's... um. Honestly, you're probably... No, you're not fine without it. Uh, because, well... The sh his second mode one has a Shanks, which has Intimidate, so you want you don't want to be at minus one attack for it. Um, but then the other thing is that Mian Fu will almost always go for um, Fake Out turn one, so you might as well X attack on the turn. Alright, so... That, sorry, what was I was that? Just, I was just saying Deranger, that's definitely a decision. <laughs> oh, yeah. A ch definitely a choice. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, So, I was going to say Modest didn't matter, but it might still matter, because we're. I'm just going to do a couple of the slow po pokes yeah. before, um, before grabbing the mint. So, I'll do at least one slow poke still with the uh, with Modest. Yeah, so if anyone hasn't done the DLC before, we kind of have to do three, um, what do they call it? Are they called tasks or missions? Challenges, or maybe? Trials. I don't know. Or is it trials, trials, that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, so you have to do three of those in order to get access to the secret armor of the dojo. Um, and uh, there it is, three trials. Okay, we got it. We got there. <laughs> um, the first one is we have to hunt down a bunch of slowpokes. But these are very special slowpokes. They're, gal they're Galarian slowpoke which means they're pure psychic, so it's not really... Yeah, so that's not the issue. The issue is they're super, super fast. Um, I think there was some data mining done on these yeah. things, and they have, like... Is it they have, they have insane amount of speed EVs? Yeah, so they, well, so they have max HP and speed IVs. The rest are random. They have a random nature. Um, they have a lot of speed and HP 
EVs along with a couple special defense EVs, they are automatically at plus six speed. Oh yeah, that's uh, true, yep. And they're holding <laughs> a very special item. Do you want to say oh, yeah, what the item yeah. is? Because you're the one who discovered this. Wait, was it the Salt Lockbird? No. Yeah. Uh, so they are holding a berry that increases speed by one stage, but they are already at max stage speed, uh, so they cannot use it. And so I guess um, it's it's just there in, to troll people who try to lower the speed of the Slowpoke, <laughs> and then they'll just eat the berry and go back to plus six. <laughs> and, and the reason why I found that out is because if you run Grookey as the alt main for the Isle of Armor, you use knockoff as an attacking move, which is a dark type move, and it knocks off the item of the Pokemon that you're hold that you're attacking. <laughs> and so I found out, oh, they're holding slack berries. Uh, so we're belt. picking up expert belt, that just helps with some ranges. Um, because as I just mentioned, the slowpoke are uh quite tanky. So um just Getting that extra bit of help is nice. The slowpoke kind of run around in uh, in circles, and we saw on the podcast yesterday um, that the podcast we shared, or we we, were, we had recorded it, but we had Zypotic on, and uh, there was some new movement that was done for this, which is super cool to see. Whoops, and I oh. <laughs> I should have just not done the menu there, because that messed me up. I definitely can get the Slowpoke's first cycle. I've done it plenty of times before, but I menued late. So, uh, that was my own fault. Um, unfortunately, I can't really do that extra, um, that extra movement tech that was shown off on the podcast, um, because... Um, Double is very tanky uh, with Fluffy, and so I actually would not die to the um, Aracuda that um, oh, you oh, normally yeah. use to... At least I don't think I would. I don't remember how closely I looked at that. Um, but anyway, I'm used to doing this movement, so I'm just going to do it um, with the <laughs> extra addition of the Mint. Um, I did one-shot that Slowpoke, so I think I'll just wait to use the Mint. Uh, I can combine it with another menu later. Oh, where's your movement? There it is, I caught it. That was unexpected. Uh, yeah, so timing will be on the fade-out after we beat Mustard. There's a short cutscene. Yeah, then... when he says, let's head back. Yep. Yeah, the other reason why, so Sobble does take some, or Drizal, I suppose, takes some chip damage from the Slowpoke, um, which helps with the Death Warp on the Aracuda. Um, but here, I take, like, nothing from the Slowpoke. Um, so I, if I did go for that Death Warp, I'd basically be going into it full HP. Um, so all the more reason to, to not go for that. Um, because I encountered that Slowpoke at a weird spot, I did end up having to wait for the third one a bit longer than usual, but it is what it is. There goes all three of our fast Slowpoke. Uh, and now we have to get back to the dojo. Um, so I will do a menu here uh, after I messed up my box earlier. It's fine. I'll uh, get Grookey back in the party uh, so I can taunt this Licky Licky. Um, unlike the Malamar that's here when it's raining, the Licky Licky is not the best for death warping on. Uh, so having taunt here is especially nice. Oh yeah. But it actually went for a decent move for once. Uh, I think it's only damaging moves are wrap and uh, roll out which is not the best to death warp against, but I'll gladly take a two turn. Yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of death warps. Yeah, we've, uh, we've done a number, and I think we still have two more coming up. So, or maybe it's just one, I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of death warping in 
Isle of Armor stuff in general, but this category especially adds two more on top of those. Uh, so here we get to get either Bulbasaur or Squirtle. Um, I think you can all guess which one I'm picking. Uh, another thing that's interesting in terms of the old route was on Sword, uh, Bulbasaur actually was required. Um because you needed it to absorb the toxic spikes in Clara 3. Um, but that's no longer a concern because of that full restore that we picked up in the Crone Tundra. Um, so now runners can pick either up to their heart's content. Uh, so now we will be starting our second trial. Um, I couldn't think of the word, even though it was literally on the screen. Um, <laughs> and we just said it. Yeah, and we just said it. Um, and the second trial is to find some max mushrooms. Um, Mustard tells us that... Well, he's going to tell us in a little bit that they normally grow in the forest, but some Greedent came through and ate them all. Uh, once again, proving that Greedent is the speed speedrunner's worst enemy. Um... But we'll just have to take a little bit of an extra walk to get where we need to go. So actually, I will still be using the full restore, even though um, it would increase my damage. Uh, because Clara puts down uh, two layers of toxic spikes, and I can't survive that being badly poisoned. Um, if it was just one layer of toxic spikes, then I would gladly <laughs> take those toxic spikes, and I would like to have them on every fight, thank you. Uh, but as is, um, I need to, um, I, I actually do need to clear that toxic poison. Uh, so now it's time to go find some mushrooms. I think you can pick up mushrooms in here, but only after you get the first set, which Correct. is the, yeah. the scripted set. They so. randomly spawn here and I think two other zones. Um, and in my um, Urshifu alt main cat run, um, my route actually changes slightly if you get a bonus max mushroom. <laughs> This is the route that Let's Go AOP runners would love to see with <laughs> yeah, with Tauros, Kangaskhan, Pinsir, Scyther, everything's here. <laughs> uh, I don't think I need that Moo Moo Milk, uh, but I'll grab it for safety. It's nice, it's nice safe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so here's those mushrooms that we needed to uh, grab, uh, but we're going to not do that. <laughs> we're just going to walk right past them. Because there is something else we need to do first. Look, a ride Pokemon. <laughs> and there's that flame orb we were oh, talking about there earlier. It is. Yep. I actually did not know we got that, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, do that. And then held item. I can equip the flame orb. Yeah. yeah, so the way the flame orb works is when you're holding the flame orb, you get burned, like, turn one or whatever. And that normally would be bad for double, but remember we have facade, which doubles in power. And I believe, does it ignore the burn? Yes, it does nor ignore the burn. The okay. interesting thing here, and this is kind of spo spoiling the Clara 3 fight, um, but, so normally it does ignore the burn, but if you D-Max, then the burn still applies. Uh, so if I D-Max during Clara 3, my attack actually goes down.
Uh, so the Dubwool alt main is, I think, the only, well, other than Drizz Isle, is the only Isle of Armor alt main that can and will skip Dynamaxing on Clara Avery 3. Starmie skip it too? Um, I don't remember if Starmie does. Uh, so here my Flame Orb is not activated yet, uh, so I'm just going to X attack here. Um, I can't remember how exactly the fight goes if you don't X attack here, but now with plus two and burned, uh, everything is going to be real easy to get knocked down. So are there any sort of like different strats or ranges that are different depending on your IVs or is that like kind of Um there's some two shot ranges um in the early fights and then in the tower fights but nothing in between um and you can actually take minus speed because Clara just does not have fast pokemon um and so minus speed actually just doesn't even matter either so, like I said earlier, the only one that I care about is Minus Attack, which I mean, I ended up getting anyway, but, um, yeah. So you just grabbed the Serious Mint, so that helped. Yep. Yeah, so I can see in Shield this would be a bit different, because um, Avery does have fast Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Probably would not run Minus Speed there, or you would just do the Mint for that, too. Um, the other thing that would be interesting about a shield run is that um, his Pokemon, his Wubat and Swubat have, um, what's, unaware? Unaw is that the ability? Unaware, yeah. Yeah, so they ignore stat boosts, um, but your empowered facade would still apply, actually. Yeah, true. So that is one other kind of interesting thing um, that would be... I'd be interested to see what that route looks like, because it would ignore the boost um, from your X items, but you could still do good damage on it because of your um, burn. Uh, so here is our final long cutscene. Um, we're going to make some max soup. Um, this is, <laughs> interestingly enough, this is really important in... Um, most of the other um, Isle of Armor runs, uh, because we need these max mushrooms for the Clara 3 fight, Clara Avery 3. Um, I actually won't be using these max mushrooms on Clara, um, just because I don't... All I care about is my attack stat. I don't actually need defenses because I'm fluffy, and um, I'm just faster than all her Pokemon anyway, so... The Omni Boost from Max Mushrooms don't matter. I'm just going to be spamming X attacks instead. So you needed to buy them anyway, so you might. Yep, exactly. Them. Yeah, just going to um, because using two Max Mushrooms, which is what most routes do, they'll go to plus. They'll use two Max Mushrooms to get two plus two to their offensive stat, uh, and then they'll D Max. Um, like I said, D Maxing is not an option for me. Um, so. I actually need to go all the way to plus six, but I don't need to D max. So I actually, I'm one turn slower, but I skip a D max. So it actually is pretty fast at the end of the day. Uh, and our final trial is just a battle against Clara. Uh, so it's not nearly as... I guess the second one was also just a battle against Clara. So, it's really not all that yeah. different. There's less walking on this one. And so Clara's lead is physical attacker, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that would be... make things a bit interesting on Shield, because in Shield, um, Avery has a Galarian Ponyta, which is True. a yeah. special attacker. Yeah, so you, maybe you would use a Mushroom to get to plus one Spadef, 
And then also the speed would be relevant as well. Yes, it would be. Well, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, Greta, that's what we had to do, though, is we just had to fight Clara. <laughs> uh, I will save here. I think this fight's safe, but um, if um, if Slowbro uses quick draw, gets quick draw and uses a special move, I could be in trouble because, like I said, I'm not D Max, so um, it it could hurt. <laughs> I think it's. Psychic and its water moves are. Is it a water move? I don't even remember. It has water pulse. Yeah. So it's. Oh, so water. Yeah, that would be a special move. Yep. And then max ooze, I think, is also special. Yeah. So if it goes for a max oh, no. ooze, um, it could be a little sketchy. So all the more reason to save. Uh, so here's something that I learned about after I'd run the, these categories for like a year and a half. Uh, you can hold B here and skip the <laughs> Dynamax tutorial. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Clara's cheated. There's two layers of Toxic Spikes on the field. Uh, so we are currently badly poisoned. Um, which, as that ramps up, you'll see why I can't just go through the fight. Uh, I learned this, like, six months ago, I think. Oh my god, everyone's learning. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you for that crit that still did, like, four damage. Only, only Greta knew, apparently. <laughs> that was... Yeah, I went to plus six. Right? Yeah, okay. I was distracted by people learning in the chat. Uh, so now I'm going to full restore. Um, so here, either... Oh, it actually went for Bite. That's super nice. Because uh, if it goes for Toxic or Poison Fang, uh, it can re-poison... It can badly re-poison me, which is fine, but I would much rather have the Burn than the Poison. Well, okay, sorry, Amber. I was turboing B. That's what I meant by holding B. behind the curtain, I'm using turbo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I can see why that wasn't clear now. But I mean, like, it's the same thing. Uh, okay, so we one-shot three for Pokemon. Slowbro is also a one-shot. It can quick draw. Uh... It did not quick draw, we're fine. Look, all I'm saying is that I held B. <laughs> I did not press the B button, I held the B button. Yeah, this slow burrow has also ended plenty of run. But we're good, no quick draw. Yep. I'll, I'll say I deserve it. Let's be fair. Um, okay, so now we beat Clara. So now it's time for the don't get part of get. Don't get. Uh, we're going to get a Cub Fu and then release it. Like, you should. Um, I'm so glad this discussion is happening. Oh, uh, <laughs> Uh, so we're going to release Cub Fu like you would in any normal uh, Don't Get Run or an Ally of Armor Alt main. Um, but the interesting thing here that we're going to do that differs from a normal Don't Get Run 
um, that actually a decent number of alt mains do, is instead of heading to the Tower of Darkness, we're going to head to the Tower of Waters. Um, it's about 45 seconds faster to walk to the Tower of Waters. Uh, so for Pokemon that can do the Tower of Waters, you definitely want to. Yeah, so it's like Starmie, for example, wants to go to the Tower of Waters because it's weak to the Tower of Darkness. <laughs> That's so. true. And it has Psychic, so it just crushes everything in the Tower of Waters. The Tower of Waters mods are generally a bit bulkier than yeah. the ones in Tower of Darkness, so... It wasn't something that was seen much before we started going to the Crown Tundra. But you def we definitely see it a lot more now. So we're getting our special secret armor. And we're immediately, like, Bye. we're immediately going to yeet it. <laughs> but yeah, so the... The whole we were talking a lot earlier about how the route changed with the with the Crown Tundra visit, and that changed Getter Shifu as well. Um, it made it like five million times better because the old strategy to get levels on your Kubfu, which as you saw came at level ten, was to have your date set to a specific date where you'd have the misty terrain weather outside the dojo, and you have you'd have to KO some number of blissies. I don't even remember how many it was. Uh, it was normally um, three. Yeah. But it could be four if there were bad spawns. Yeah, like, the levels were levels could be different. And it was Garfield, 10 to 15. Garf Garfield the Lightning in the chat actually put together some paste bins, which I remember using quite a lot, and which contained all the combinations of mons you could KO. It also included, like, other mons that you saw. I don't remember which ones they were. Like, not Bunnelby, but something similar to that. Um, it included all the, a bunch of those as well. So based on the first thing you saw, you know what to go for later on. Um, <laughs> yeah, that must have taken a long time for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, those are like sort of the holy grail of the Getter Shifu uh, route. And then once Spider and I realized you could just do... Uh, get the EXP candies and just slap those on a cub kubfu, then, uh, yeah, we didn't, don't really bother with that anymore. Tingler's gonna see me and it's faster than you would think. Yeah, and then also, um, if you, there, you can get a water bike here. <laughs> I just tried to go for the water bike and I remembered it at the same time. <laughs> I, I don't know exactly how why it does that, but if you walk near water in certain places, you get a, a bike temporarily, even before you even actually get the bike. And so you can actually just, like, have a little bit of faster movement for a short period of time. Which is kind of funny. You know how I said that getting the, um, the elk, the guaranteed elk candy is a 2 minute 40 second detour? I am plus 2 minutes 43 seconds on PB. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so if I got that first try, uh... It would, uh, I would be basically on PB pace. Um, because I'm not burned here, uh, that Psyduck is always a two-shot. The confusion sucks. Uh, not a, not a fan of that. Okay, we okay. got through. Um, I'll heal before Poliwhirl just for good measure.
Uh, so depending on the, so this, like I said, there were a couple ranges early and a couple ranges late. Um, so Krabby and Meryl can both be two shot ranges. Um, because I'm a higher level than normal, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get both one shots. Uh, but um, they can be two shots. Level 28 here is quite a big jump. It's, it's pretty excessive. Although normally I think double is probably 27, to be perfectly honest. So it's not that different from normal. But because you get that round, you get that rounding uh, thing because of the the second digit at twenty eight. Yeah, yeah, that's true. In the damage formula. Like I said, I will just slap on a potion before Polyworld because this Polyworld can be a massive troll. Uh, so I just don't want to deal with that. Although I suppose I do get, did get that super potion in the CT, so I could have skipped this. And you have the, don't you still have the Moo Milk? Yeah, I, well, I'm, I was saving the Moo Milk for healing before Mustard. Um, I just didn't want to have to potion in battle. Um, Mech's attacking here because this Polyworld World generally goes for Protect Turn 1. So, uh, in this case I didn't need to heal, but I'll take the safety. Time is coming up very shortly. Uh, we have one more fight to go. This fight was sort of like a big issue for like Getter Shifu with the Blissey stuff because depending on your Kung Fu's nature and its stats, you might you'd have to aim for a certain level for this fight. But now with the EXP candies, you're generally just over leveled and it's a much safer fight overall. I've saved there. Not because I think this fight is dangerous, especially at this level, but I recently calc something that I thought was safe and discovered it's not as safe as I thought it was, and it, <laughs> I feel like it was this fight, so I decided to save just in case. So here I'm finally using one of those max mushrooms. Uh, it boosts my defense, which is nice, um, but then also it makes me... F yeah, okay, it's, clearly it's not this that I was thinking of. Whoops, no, don't. Uh, my double inputs got eaten. That's weird, they normally... I, I have a new way of doing double inputs, and it's much more consistent, so I was surprised that one got dropped. Um, but yeah, this is really easy with double, despite being a normal type and having type diff advantage, because fluffy and plus one defense just means that you just don't take damage. Uh, so time is coming up in just a few seconds. And time. So there we go. Isle of Armor Alt Main Dubwool, the original, expect except no substitutes. And uh I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't have much else to say. Uh this whole swath of runs is a lot of fun. Like Iron said, we routed like a dozen of them uh so there's there's a lot of variety if you do want to give one of these a shot um there's a board on this sword shield cat x board for them uh, and you can see that there's a lot of them there um i'm sure, I'm sure there's more that we that could be routed too um, yeah there's some yeah. that are so close to being good but just not quite uh and so then i never got around to them like um golet and um Drillbur are extremely close to being good, but they just have a big problem in one spot that they just can't overcome. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it for me. Iron, do you have anything else to say? It's a great run. Uh, thank you for inviting me for commentary. Um, yeah. It's been a while since I've seen a run of this, so <laughs> it's kind of cool to see the new strats. So. Yeah, I was glad that I got the level 3 Wulu, so I was able to show that off. And I am except ex exceptionally glad that the slowpoke got in first ball <laughs> oh yeah oh look he's stuck <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> he's so fat <laughs> all right that's it for me thank you for watching